In this video, I'm going to show you how Decroft runs the best offense in Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's YouTube video. Now, if you're new to the channel and you don't know what I do on YouTube, basically what I do is I do Madden 21 tips and tricks videos that are designed to help you get better as a Madden player, both on the offensive side of the ball and on the defensive side of the ball. So make sure to subscribe because I upload eight videos every single day um, in multiple different formats, and I share pro player schemes as well as schemes that I personally um, like to use myself. So we're going to jump right in. Decroft is probably, and I know I say this a lot, but Decroft is truly probably my favorite player to watch on the offensive side of the ball. I like watching Henry on the defensive side of the ball. And on offense, I really, really like watching um, Decroft because I feel like he's got one of the most, not only unique offenses in the community, but he also has one of the best offenses in the community. And so we're going to dive right into a couple of his setups that he used in his game against uh, Free the Penguins, which Free the Penguins is obviously in the same crew as Decroft. So he kind of had an idea of what Decroft was going to run. And I want to just share with you how... Um, just a couple of the key plays that he used. So in our audibles here, we've got the patch drag wheel, we've got the PA fork, the tight end whip, and the tight end deep out. Now you guys know from past experience, if you've been subscribed for a long time, or if you have our U-Trips breakdown in our text membership, you know that my favorite play from this formation is the patch slot out. I think it's the best play in the entire game um, because of how effective it is. But... Um, Decroft didn't really use that much. I don't think he called it one time. So, um, you know, not going to question uh, Decroft for sure. But what we're going to simply do here is we are going to come out in a couple of different plays that I felt like he ran a ton. Um, but really, it was more of a route combination or route concept. So we're going to come out in the curl flats play here and share with you a couple different combinations that Decroft was able to use. The first one is a simple way that you can beat man-to-man -man coverage out of this formation. And that is from, you can call the PA fork, you can call really anything that you want um, out of this, tight end, deep out, any of these plays will work because it's simply um, a route combination in which it's a double drag combination. So what we're going to do is we're going to put Antonio Brown on a corner route, right? Now, Decroft did have Rich Gannon with Hot Route Master. That's kind of one of the most popular abilities that people are going to. But this is a simple man beater here. We're going to take the tight end. We're going to put the tight end on a drag. We're going to take Godwin. We're going to put Godwin on a drag. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take Mike Evans, and we're going to put him on a skinny post, and we're going to simply smart route the route. And what you'll notice here is this was one of his, I mean, he called this a ton, but against man-to-man -man coverage, you're always going to have this outside leverage with Antonio Brown because of the man switch that is going to occur um, in the play. So what that means is that a lot of people, and I, I'm telling you right now, when I say a lot of people, I mean almost everyone when they play this, and this is why Pat's slot out is so good when you actually mix this in. But if you run this same setup, what a lot of people will do is they'll put purple zones on the field. So they'll basically put their their uh, safeties in purples. Well, if they play press coverage, number one, you've got inside leverage to Chris Godwin, and you're going to be able to get that across the field. Now, my personal recommendation is if you're playing mutt, your slot, your slot wide receiver here in this offense, I think it would be very smart to make that uh, Deion Sanders. And the reason why is because Deion Sanders – has the playmaker ability, which is one of the best abilities in Madden, and you would be able to then playmaker that route up, or you'd playmaker it to the left side, either way. But essentially, he's creating mesh post, um, which is also one of my favorite plays um, in the entire game. So, the next thing that you'll see on this pass projection here is the skinny post. If you have a good receiver, right, if you have a good receiver, and as one of my subscribers has told me in the past, Mike Evans is the worst practice mode player in the history of the game. As you see, he drops another wide open laser. But if you have a receiver that has over 90 deep route running, you are oftentimes going to get separation on this skinny post. This skinny post typically will get off the jam really e relatively easily, click on, and you can make a play as Mike Evans drops uh, yet another wide open pass, which is classic Mike Evans. So, um, But again, this is kind of the, the, the really the formula for people playing new trips. A lot of people like to play... Um, some type of cover zero uh, against it, which simply is just not effective. It's, it's not going to work well uh, for this, even if they shade coverage over the top. Um, and again, Decroft has some of the best pocket presence in the game. Um, and anyway, I'm going to stop throwing a mic as he's going to drop the ball every time. But that is how, um, that's how you do it. So, and again, that's, the, that's one setup that he was using. 
Now another setup that he was using, one that I actually really liked, was a was from the play Scat, which I didn't bring it out here. But essentially, the running back is on a wheel route, and that's really the only route that he used on the play was this little seam wheel to the running back. And so I'll show it to you. Um, I'll just jump out of here and grab it real quick for you. Why not? Um, and while we're doing that, if you guys want to get my full offensive ebook on the New England Patriots offensive playbook, um, it is in the description of this video. And we're actually running a little bit of a sale on it right now. It's just twenty bucks, and it gets you the best offense in the entire game. I have on in that ebook, I have over four hundred pages of material with over um, ten hours of video breakdown and over thirty six formations. So not just U trips, but the entire playbook. Anyway, all that to say, this is the scat play, and Decroft runs this a ton. This is one of his favorite plays um, in the game. And simply what we're going to do is we're going to put Chris Godwin on a crossing route. We're then going to take the tight end and put him on a delay fade, and then we're simply going to drag both of the receivers across the formation. And if they run man coverage on you with this setup right here, you're going to have a ton of success. You'll see that this crossing route gets wide open against this coverage. It gets wide open against this defense. And really what you're going to do is you're going to force the opponent to have to really guard um, not just the crossing route, right, but you're also going to have these two drags underneath and then if they're in zone coverage, that wheel route to the running back does a really, really nice job um, at giving that some issue. But as you can see here, these drags are really, really effective, um, especially if they're shading their coverage uh, off, off into an off coverage type of scenario. The next thing I want to show you is how does this work against zone coverage? You might be asking, how does this play work? You know, this play looks good and all, but... How does it work against zone coverage? Well, and that's where these drags really come in handy. These drags are really hard to stop in zone coverage. The other thing is, if you take a look at the running back here, um, you see you see how he pulls that, and, and that was a bad uh, throw by me, but you see how the running back pulls the corners out of the way. So what, what will happen is, because this drag is coming across late, um, if they're running some type of Tampa 2 or something, you know, you're looking to your crossing route first anyway, and then your immediate drag, but this route right here is really going to be a nice little late read for you. Another thing that you have against this coverage is, let's say they're running some type of Mabel coverage on you, right? Very popular defense for people to run is Mabel coverage. So we're running the same setup, and this is against the you know standard Mabel coverage that everybody runs. But take a look at what happens here. The running back is going to pull both of the, of the zones with him. It's going to leave this wide open in this little pocket right here, and you're going to be able to hit the drag. Now, the other thing that's really important about this play in particular is the tight end is going to come wide open as well. So if I come out and scat, and again, I'm going to put the crossing route to Mike Evans, or not Mike Evans, Chris Godwin, drag both of the outside guys. And then if I see something like this, I say, oh, he's in zone coverage. So I'm just going to release the tight end fade by hitting the X button. And there he goes. He finally releases. And you'll see that will be almost every cover three Mabel in the game. They're going to have to use her that. They have to have a yellow on the field to be able to hang with that. So a lot to guard in this formation. And um, I haven't talked about his most effective setup. And the reason why is because I don't know if I have the route running to be able to pull it off. But he ran this. Um, he ran this against cover two man. Like if they were just running shaded coverage underneath man coverage. He would use this play tight end deep out, and essentially what he would do is he would take the tight end, put him on a corner route, he'd have the, the wide receiver on the right on an out route, or he would flip that, so he might have the slot guy go in the corner and the tight end go on an out. The running back typically would block uh, for this, but you could also put him on a wheel route if you wanted to. And then essentially we would motion across this little streak right here and hit it up the seam, so right in here. And what you would see is, and again, because I don't have um, because I don't have the right uh, route running threshold on that player, he doesn't get as good of separation. But normally, what will happen, especially if they're running something from like nickel three through five, and it's a, kind of a nickel three through five in particular, but you could see something like this uh, tight end deep out, where basically what we're going to do, and we could do it a variety of different ways, but essentially we're going to have these couple little. Um, you know these couple little quick routes right here little flood concepts and then you have the underneath route or I'm sorry not the underneath route but you have this bomb route to the streak receiver on an inside pass they click on and you can kind of use or catch that but again that if you have Randy Moss on that or you have someone on that oftentimes they will lose the corner in the dust and they'll be able to get wide open so um, that's pretty much the majority of his setups, in my opinion, um, that you saw. You saw a little bit of PA Fork. Um, the way that he ran uh, PA Fork, one of the other setups he had um, was essentially to run this corner route right here, delay fade, 
and then obviously a motion over crossing route you know these these is these basic combos right here that you're looking at on your screen were kind of his go-to's and they were probably the most effective out of everything that he did because it forced Mabel coverage on both sides but then it also opened the middle of the field up for him to hit post routes and curl routes so that is a little bit about Decroft's offense. If you want to get my full ebook on this, my uh, on this playbook, New England, um, it's really really good. It's in the description. If you want to get a full scheme on the U trips, I have a one hour video breaking this down in my text message membership. You can get it completely for free. Um, it it breaks down literally how to one play touchdown every coverage in the entire game. So just text me for that. My number is eight one two. 216-3644. It's also in the description of this video. I want to thank you for watching today and invite you to our live stream tonight. And don't forget, if you want to get the full U-Trips offensive scheme, go ahead and text me. And then if you want to get the full ebook to this offense, click that link in the description. It'll take you right to the checkout page. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you tomorrow.